So I'm jumping straight into this tutorial and I'm going in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumour and I'm just using that to prep the eyelids. So I'm just painting that on all over the lid making sure to take it uh, down the sides of the nose and winging it out slightly. Then I'm just patting over the top with my brush to make sure it's all set down nicely ready for eyeshadow in a little bit. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush just to blend off those harsh edges so there's no harsh lines when it comes to foundation a little bit later on. Just pat patting out any creases across the lid. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to go in with today is this Melchior Cosmetics eyeshadow in Autumn Sunset. I'm just packing that colour on all through the crease. Just using pattern motions rather than swipes just to make sure the colours, you know, the pigmentation's built until I'm happy with it. Then I'm just dipping into my Morphe Jacqueline Hill palette and taking that shade Creamsicle on a Zoeva 227 brush. And I'm just using that slightly higher than Autumn Sunset to sort of blend out that edge. I wanted to have more of a mustardy yellow rather than, you know, like a typical orange and yellow gradient. Then I'm just going back in with Autumn Sunset and bringing that back into the gradient of the eye and just taking it up slightly higher as well, just slightly above that crease. Then I'm going to go in with this shade from Melt Cosmetics from the Rust stack. This is Rubbish, just sort of a deeper mustardy colour. And I'm just keeping that right in between those first two shades. Then to deepen up that crease ever so slightly more, I'm going back into my Jacqueline Hill palette and taking the shade Mocha, just on this small blending brush. And just keeping that right tight into that little crease line. Across the lid, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline 24 Hour Colour Tattoo in the shade On and On Bronze. And this is going to act as a base, a cream base for our pigment in a little while. So I'm just packing this colour on and then blending out the edge so there's a nice transition between the mattes and the shimmers. Blending that out with the darkest brown we used before. Then to set that cream shadow in place, I'm going in with the Peaches and Cream Pigment Loose Pigment in Hollywood, which is this gorgeous white pigment with gold reflex. This is my new fave pigment. I think it looks absolutely unreal. I've used it over like a bronzy base, a rose gold base. It just looks stunning. So I'm just packing that all over the lid and then spritzing my brush with some fixing spray and going back over the top just to make sure that pigment stays put and doesn't move at all throughout the day. Then I'm just going to take a touch of brown eyeliner. This is the NYX Cosmetics Just Normal Brown Liner and I'm just going to roughly line me up a lash line because I wanted a little bit of something there but not not black and I'm just taking a, a little fluffy brush and just blending that out just smudging it okay lashes are on and now it is time for the face so I'm taking my iconic London liquid illuminator drops in the shade shine and just popping that all over the face so we look gorgeous and glowy like the Tin Man. I'm just blending that out with the Duo Fiber Brush from Real Techniques. I can't remember the exact name of the brush. Sexy. For foundation, I'm taking the Ilamasca Skin Base Foundation in the shade number 4. And as always, I'm just painting that on the skin using a regular flat foundation brush first. Just covering the entire face, building up the coverage to where I'm happy with it. Making sure to get the neck. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm just taking my sponge and just blending all that that foundation out, pushing it into the skin so there's no harsh lines, you know, from the from the foundation brush. For concealer, of course, I'm going to be using the same old Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. I'm just using that to highlight my face. So starting with the underneath of the eyes in that little triangular shape. Then doing the cupid's bow, the chin. Some on the centre of the forehead between the eyebrows. And then just, I think I forgot down the bridge of my nose for the first time ever. I don't know how I did that. With the same sponge, I'm just bouncing that into the skin, just pressing it right in. And I'm making sure to get right up to that lower lash line because we've got no eyeshadow on it yet. So that's going to act as our, as our little primer for the under eye in a second. I make some attractive faces during painting my face. Those harder to reach areas down the sides of my nose and stuff, I'm taking my little fluffy brush just to blend it in nicely so there's no harsh lines where the concealer meets the eyeshadow. For a bit of cream contouring, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick and this is in the shade 220 Toffee Caramel. I'm just popping that on all those like contour bronzing areas, so the cheekbones, the jawline and the forehead. Then I'm just taking this Real Techniques brush and just pushing that foundation stick into the skin again and pushing it upwards to keep a sharp line underneath. And I'm just blaring out all the harsh lines for now. So look at the difference between blended and unblended. Then I do just like to go back in with my sponge and pat back over everything, making sure it's all blended in nicely, there's no harsh lines. And also if you've put too much on this Kenobi's, you know, tap it back a little bit and take it back. Blend it with your foundation a lot nicer, a lot smoother. To set everything in place, I'm taking my Kat Von D Lock It Set and Powder in Translucent. I'm just focusing that right on those under eye areas. We're taking that right up to the lash line as well so there's no creasing just between the eyebrows and then just slightly down the sides of the nose and around the mouth area where I tend to get the most oily. Then just on the reverse side of my Morphe sponge I'm just going to bake under that contour line just taking the exact same powder and running it underneath. Then to add some bronze I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Tan and just using that to bronzy up the cheeks and set down that cream contour that we put there. Now if you don't know by now, I love a good forehead bronze, I'm all about that bronze life. So if you're thinking I'm going a bit too, a bit too cray cray with the bronzer, then oh well. For highlighter, I'm taking my Ofra and Nikki Tutorials highlighter in Glazed Donut, the world's best highlighter. I'm just popping that on the tips of my cheekbones. The tips of my cheekbones? On my cheekbones. Just slightly above the eyebrow and I'm just patting that back as well so it's not too much. Then the cupid's bow, of course. A bit on the nose, so I just like to highlight the very tip of the nose and then just the very start of the bridge of the nose. Then I'm just dusting away that beak and softening up that line underneath as well. The whole point of the beak is to clean the area up, not to create a sharp line. Now going in with blush, I'm taking my Morphe 9M blush palette and just lightly stippling on a slight bit of blush on the apples of my cheeks. And then just going back in with my powder brush and patting that blush back because you know blush can go from 0 to 100 very quickly. So now it is time for the brows and I'm just brushing up those brow hairs with my spoolie and then I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in Dark Brown and just on this Aweva 317 angled brush I'm just starting to sketch out the shape that I want my brow to take. So starting with the underneath. 
pushing that product up through the brow connecting the tail at the end and creating another sharp line on the top as well then I'm just dispersing that product through the brow by brushing it through as well and then I'm going to set them in place using the NYX brow mascara in black this just adds a bit more texture to the eyebrow a bit more definition to the hairs as well makes them stand up nicely Then I couldn't decide which lip to go with. I wanted to do a bright lip, but I also wanted it to be wearable. But I would honestly wear this eye look with a bright red lip or a coral lip or something like that. I think it'd be perfect for proms. But I did decide to go for this nude Primark um, liquid lipstick in like that today. And then I did just go over the top with this NYX Butter Gloss. I can't really remember the name, but I will list it in the description below like I do with everything else. Just to add a bit more glossiness to the look and it smells divine. Then I'm just adding a touch of that highlighter just to those inner corners to brighten everything up. And that is the finished look today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an upload. But thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!